Hello, my musical friends. Have you ever wondered what a capo does and how to put it on correctly? Stay tuned and I will show you how. There's all kinds of different capos. Essentially, they're all the same. They use some sort of mechanism to clamp onto your guitar and then they have a cushion bar that goes across the strings and they're essentially just like a bar chord moving up and down the neck of the guitar. I find that the spring-loaded clamp-on capos tend to put too much pressure or uneven pressure on your strings. To me, this causes the strings to go out of tune. I tend to prefer shub capos. They have a locking mechanism that clamps onto the guitar using a fulcrum lever and then a small thumb screw that allows you to fine tune the tension perfectly. To put on a capo, what you want to do is position the capo just behind the fret where you want the capo to go. You don't want to put it in the middle like this. It will cause your strings to go sharp severely or it can make your strings buzz. So you want it just behind that fret. I hope you can see this. You want it parallel with that fret and then you want to clamp it down. The other thing you want to do is make sure that it's centered from this string to this string so that all six of those strings are in contact. Once it's in position, you want to tighten that capo if you have the ability to tighten and loosen it. You want it just tight enough to make sure that it's working, but not overly tight. If you over tighten it, it can make the strings go a little sharp and it can also over the long period that you own your guitar, slowly create dents in those frets on your guitar. So you have it on, you think it's set and you're ready to play a song. What you want to do is give it a couple strums and verify that all the strings sound good. If you have it off a little bit, it'll sound like this. That means it's not centered, especially if your sixth and first strings are the ones that are buzzing. At this point, you can go ahead and tune your guitar. If you tighten those strings, they will tighten on the other side of the capo. Or at the last minute, release the tension, tighten it down again to let that tuning go through the strings. Double check your tuning. If you're familiar with your capo and familiar with your guitar, you will know whether or not it throws your guitar out of tune or if you can just go ahead and play. I find I'm able to just go ahead and play. Some people have a more sensitive ear and even the slightest bit they can hear. And if you're like that, you'll want to tune your guitar. So you know how to put a capo on your guitar and I gave you a real brief description on what it does. In my next video on capos, I'm going to give you three tips on what a capo can do and why you should use one. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, give me a comment, ask any questions if I left something out or you have a question, and I will see you in my next video.